for, for me as an actor, it was uh, so much fun. They're just brilliant, it's so gentle and warm, uh, just fantastic pieces. So reading the audiobook and playing all the characters was vastly different from playing Harriet in the television series. For one, I was in a lovely uh, home studio with home bakes, brownies and things, not <laughs> lying uh, in a freezing barn or getting kicked in the face by a horse. So f f comfort-wise, it was great. Um, but also it was just so much fun. Because I'd worked on the series, I saw a lot of these characters already being portrayed. And so I had a leaping off point with the likes of Siegfried with Samuel West and uh, Helen Alderson with Rachel Shenton. But I'm definitely not doing impressions of those people. I don't want to offend anyone. But, <laughs> but, uh, but it, was, uh, yeah, it was really useful. And uh, yeah, we, had a, we just had a really fun week uh, making it. I couldn't pick one particular character that was my favourite to voice in the book because there's just so many. Um, and, and even ones that just come in for one chapter or, or two chapters and, and they're brilliant, they're so rich and the great thing about Alf White is he gives you a little description of the characters and, and these are wonderful when you're trying to create them. Um, I remember one he said the chap was very bird-like with a long nose and kind of spoke nasally so already you, you can kind of imagine, you can kind of picture the character and it's already giving you a lot of ideas uh, and gets your imagination running. Um, but there, there were some brilliant ones, there was one farmer um, who said he, he had lived in Texas for a long time and the locals were wondering if he had ever actually been there. He just watched a lot of westerns, but he had this real southern drawl and then they're trying to lasso, <laughs> well, they're trying to get a bull down, so he decides to try and lasso it and he's like, God damn it, I ain't getting this thing. <laughs> so, so things like that are, are so fun. And there was three farmers, three brothers, there's one in his 60s, one in his 40s, one in his 30s, and they're really... Uh, really optimistic and upbeat and passionate when, when James is talking to him. So James will say, you know, I think we're going to have to, um, we might have to put this cow down. Oh, yes, James, yes, James, yes, James, yes, James. So they come in, oh, just this resounding chorus of yes, James, yes, James, yes, James. So, like, things like that are just so much fun to play with. And then, of course, characters like Mrs. Pumphrey and getting to play, you know, Tristan. Yeah, for, for me, as an actor, it was uh, so much fun. So I wasn't actually familiar with the stories growing up. Um, my uncle actually had the books and he had them signed by Alf White himself. Um, when he was a kid, he got taken along to the surgery and, uh, and Alf White was there doing signing, so he had the book signed. Um, so of course, when I got this uh, role, he was over the moon. But uh, subsequently, of course, before doing the television series and these audiobooks, I went through all, all of Alf White's work and they're just brilliant, so charming, full of wit. One minute they'll have you laughing and the next minute they can be really poignant and you know be really touching. Um, mixed in with the wonderful, you know, all these, these cases with the animals and the dales and these eccentric characters. Um, they're just brilliant. It's so gentle and warm. Uh, just fantastic pieces. So I do listen to audiobooks myself. Uh, I've got a wee selection that I use, especially on long journeys. Uh, as an actor, you're up and down the country a lot and things. So um, the one I most recently listened to actually was I started the Harry Potter series with Stephen Fry reading. So I read the, uh, listened to the first book of that. Um, and that was actually as well in preparation to do these audiobooks because I wanted to listen to someone doing uh, various characters, uh, you know, a big thick text like that, um, and just seeing what his style and his approach would be, um, and I found it really useful. <laughs> 